Today on Dusty Trails MTV, I want to introduce a new type of video I'll be putting out once in a while. A trail review. Sometimes I want to talk through a trail and let you know why I love it so much. Other times, I just want to grip the bars and rip. I'll be calling those videos ride-alongs, and most of my content will be ride-alongs. This thing's so cool. But for this video, I wanted to share my thoughts on the Navajo Rocks trail system in Moab, and why I love this trail system so much. You'll also notice we brought our pup, Indy, along for this ride. Before you consider bringing your dog out to the Navajo Rocks trail system, it's important to note that this trail consists of a lot of slick rock, and this can be brutal on the dog's paws, especially during hot summer months. I forgot that it's got this big cliff here. Makes me a little nervous for Indigo. Indigo, careful. But the temps were low, and we know Indy's limits. So, there was no way we were going to deny her her favorite activity. You're lucky I packed so much water. Oh, that's gross. wonder how Indy's going to like this. I'm sure she'll be fine. This thing's so cool. It feels off camper and you just feel like you're going to slip. But it's pretty tacky. When most people think about Moab's trail systems, they think of rides like Porcupine Rim, Poison Spider, and the Portal Trail. And yeah, those are some of my favorite rides too. But it can be intimidating to click off your skis and jump straight into a technical trail system. Keep going, yeah, feather those pedals if you have to. And so, learning about the Navajo Rocks area really changed what a Moab trip looks like for me. Nice work. Nobody waits for Dusty. I love it because I get to practice all of the skills that I'll take into the rest of my season. Short technical climbs remind me of how I need to strike a balance between staying seated and coming out of the saddle just enough to maneuver the bike around tricky spots and gain that extra power. And while there's no denying how much carefree fun some of the downhills on this trail can be, it's also important for me to note that they can offer up some teachable moments. Steep descents down the sandstone remind me to trust the rock surface, but also give me a good amount of practice working on my body positioning and brake modulation. What a good trail dog. It's spots like these that prepare me for the scarier, steeper descents down slick rock on trails like Rock Stacker and Jackson's. Over here. All of these features will feel much easier once you learn to trust yourself, your bike, and the rock. And you gotta stay with me. And Navajo Rocks is the perfect place to do so. Even the little bits of exposure that this trail can offer up at times will make you feel much more comfortable on many of the other trail systems in the area. Plus, these large sandstone descents make me feel nostalgic for those days when I was a kid where I'd hop on a bike and ride down the longest, steepest driveway in the neighborhood. This is the kind of trail that will remind you of why you started riding bikes in the first place. And hopefully, it'll make you feel like a kid again. So yeah, if you're looking for a great intermediate trail system in Moab that will maximize your time on the bike Instead of forcing you to look at every trail map as you try to figure out how to link trails at every intersection, check out Navajo Rocks. It's a simple ride that offers up lots of fun, flowy slick rock sections that will get the less experienced riders in your group excited about the sport and will have just enough technical moves to prep you for a rowdier season ahead. Where does it go? No, I think it goes up this way. Whew. All right. We did it! Come here, high five! Oh, Good girl. girl. Hannah, Max. Yeah. yeah.